Mayor Francis, can I? Sorry, just if you have just a, if you want to stop, I'll, we, we can stop. But if I have, there's something that I while I have these, it's exciting for me to have these people here. Can I just raise a question for them, which sure. which has been, uh, you know, there's something I just don't know what's what to make of in Spinoza, and I think it's there in Freud too. And it's so straightforward and simple that I'd, I'd like to get a sense of what his view of this was. Um, there's all this uh, deep commitment to, to the normative elements, and this is part of what I was saying was, would be his objection to the contractualism in Hobbes and, and so on, is that it's all there as tendencies in nature, including our natures. Right? That, that's very deep understanding of normativity. And there's a sense in which that's there in Freud too. That it, uh, now, now, we ask ourselves all the time, the question, is this natural tendency in, in me a good thing or not? Or a tendency towards sociability? No. Is this tendency that I have, that of any given tendency I have, oh, I see. right? ill temper as it might be, or whatever, is it a good thing or not? Right? We ask this all the time of ourselves. Now, when one asks oneself that, it would seem to me, on the face of it, I'm happy to be argued out of it, but on the face of it, it would seem to me to be an utter crudity to say that when I ask of a natural tendency of mine, is it a good thing for me to have it? That question that I put to myself is not an expression of a further tendency. Yeah, of a, of yeah. a second order tendency. Well, yeah. Right? That, that expression, when I ask that question, it would seem to me to be an abominable reduction mm. to say that that is just another tendency, a higher order one. But if there's nothing but natural tendency, and all of normativity resides in it, that is got to be how we think of these reflective questions we ask. But we know that Spinoza is not a crude thinker. I'm, I'm taking that as, so how shall we think of it? This is, I think, the hardest question of Spinoza. Because if everything he says is right, our tendencies are what they are. Mm -hmm. They're neither good nor bad in themselves, but they are good or bad for me. Mm -hmm. All right. What, the proper question is not, is this good, but is it good for me? Because yeah. whatever is good or bad is always good or bad sure. to an agent. That's fine. Uh, now, given everything Spinoza says, the tendencies I have and the directions I go are what they are and will be what they will be because everything is causally necessitated mm -hmm. by prior tendencies and by the laws of nature. And I always think the hardest question I always get from students that, that I think can be raised about Spinoza is, well, if that's the case, then is there any meaningful way in which I can ask myself, should I not be leading a different life? Mm -hmm. How can that question even be raised? And even if it is, doesn't that presuppose that I could go other than as I'm going? And how can there be room in Spinoza's system for that? But that is leaving out the, the sorry, the, 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 the fact of, of, of reason, which plays such a... Reason is the improving tool. Nothing is good or bad in itself. That, that's absolutely true. And, it only, that, and there's no such thing as morality in Spinoza, although one of the most important things about Spinoza is his ethics and his re attempt to reform what we think ethics is, because morality is only significant, uh, or only begins, let's say, in Spinoza in relation to society. So it's, uh, it's when you form a community and decide, well, shall we do it like that or do it like that? that. One is going to be better than the other for the group. 
that's morality. That's the beginning of morality in, 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 in Spinoza. And uh, I think that again? this is, that, that the idea that, that nothing is good or bad in itself, it's only good or bad for, uh, in relation to society, in, in its social relations. And therefore- but That's only the case if it's good for me in turn. Mm. Uh, something is, is good for you as an individual, but you also have to think of what is good for the society in which you live. His politics is very much bound up with his ethics. I think we will right. agree on that. And the tension in all these radical enlightenment thinkers is, is between uh, what is uh, in your individual interest and what is in the interest of society as a whole. And ethics is the science of how you manage that, that tension throughout the radical enlightenment. And, and this is a new development, I think, in modern Western thought. And this begins specifically with Spinoza, but with an element of Hobbes, because the elements of that perhaps begin a bit with Hobbes. But it's only, only I think, consciously and explicitly and systematically developed as a new conception of what ethics is well, in Spinoza. Let me just add to yes. that, because I think that's, that's very right, what both of you have said. I think the way the text is supposed to work is this. So the reader picks it up, and Spinoza tells that reader, this is the way you normally operate in the world, and these are the messes that you get yourself into. And there's sort of a parallel with the state. This is the way the state normally operates, and this is the mess it gets into with repression and so forth. Now I'm going to give you full information about the universe and about you as a machine. And now your tendencies change. They just change of themselves because you have got more information. But can you ask yourself the question, should I pick up this book? Right. And no, go no, no, you're just what a... Can I ask, <laughs> right. What can I ask? Are these new tendencies that have, that have emerged good? Is, is that an unintelligible question? That is? Well, you've, you've got but they, the, but action no, under, no. under more information. He no, but I've got, no, I've, got all, I've got all my, the information about my tendencies, right? I'm yeah. aware of my tendencies, yeah. okay? And now but they're now, supposed to change. And I say, okay, I'm, with this knowledge, this transformation is taking place. Is it a good transformation? Is it exactly? But, uh, but, only but that should reason. surely be, it's an intelligible question. It but, it is. but he doesn't see it. <laughs> but, he, but you see, I don't understand how he cannot see it. I mean, the, this, is, this, is, this cannot be that, that you can't deny the manifest intelligibility of the question. Right. The noble lie is a possibility. Maybe I'm I should deceive sure myself. We deny the intelligibility. Good, I'm glad to hear it. So, so, it, says it, uh, it is in your best interest to become a more rational being. Therefore, it is in your best interest to pick up my book and read it. And as a result of doing so, you will come to see that this path is more in your interest than this other path, and therefore it is good for you. So I think it's a very intelligible question. And there's a natural tendency to work it for your self-interest. Yes. yes. Yeah. And self-preservation. And some people do it more successfully than others. It, it's the relation of reason to the canatus. For instance, yeah. if somebody's drinking too much, he might be having a lot of fun. But if he puts his reason to work and, and says to himself, what do I really want? I want to live longer. I want to live healthily. I want a range of things. Uh, drinking less is going to help me to achieve that. Then his reason can be put to work as a tool which will uh, check the tendency to drink too much. I feel there's exact parallel with Freud, Absolutely. which I think is very, very right. illuminating. Why would anybody ever undertake an analysis? Mm -hmm. What would be the motivation to acquire the second level knowledge mm. to reflect on your first level knowledge? Mm. Especially if you think your first level knowledge is governed entirely by natural tendencies, the pleasure principle, mm. or what have you. Mm. Why would you want to uh, experience the immense pain that's required mm. to undertake this kind of self-reflection? And how can you derive, uh, uh, um, uh, um, Melanie Klein even posited, <laughs> the epistemological drive, uh, epistemological drive. But that's that, 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 that doesn't okay, solve anything. But that, of course, that's what I'm objecting to, right? No. The idea that it is a drive. Yeah is, you know, the idea that, that conscience, that he's explicit about this in Future of an Illusion, the idea that conscience is a second order drive, right? So, so my first order drives, I say, what a shit I am, right? Mm -hmm. and, 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 but that is supposed to be just a further drive? No. That strikes me as no, outrageous. No, but it's, it's, it's uh, the key thing in The idea like that I should... Isn't the, the key thing in Spinoza the fact of uh, that there are, the mind has certain adequate ideas, and that those adequate ideas allow one to um, a sort of create a concatenation of ideas 
that that leads to a different way of uh, that leads to a more a more complete understanding. I don't. I I, I don't. I, I never found in Spinoza any. It, it seems to me Spinoza is very stoical in the sense of almost everything is not in our power. The, 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 but, but, but that one can uh, arrive at a certain way of understanding and, and that under, because of the parallelism be, between ideas and, and matter, uh, that that can, uh, the, the, the some kind of, that as your ideas are unfolding and joining in some kind of concatenation, uh, the, the, the physical states, uh, there's some kind of concatenation occurring in your physical state, perhaps a simplification of the way you live or what you eat and, 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 and that sort of thing. I, uh, I, I don't think Spinoza is all about shoulds. I, I think it's a Yeah, my worry is that he's nothing about shoulds. I, 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 I agree with that. I don't think he's about shoulds. I think it's, I, I, I think it's about understanding where one is in this universe of of push pull click of of, of of this mechanical in in a sense mechanical universe. But you but you say that as a, as in a tone of praise. I don't say it in a tone of praise. Oh, so you I just say that's where it seems uh -huh. to be is and, uh -huh. and okay. it, it's a different it's not the way of thinking that I think, but it's gotcha. the way of thinking that he seems to think.